So start with the weights up above you. You're going to bend at your elbow. I'll do one at a time so I can point. You're going to bend at your elbow. Keep your elbow where it is. Okay, the weight's going to come right down beside your head. It'll probably touch the ground and extend back up without your elbow moving. Okay, so you want to keep the elbow so it's pointing up towards the ceiling. What happens with skull crushers a lot is people do this. They move at the shoulder, but not at the elbow. So when you do your skull crusher, your hand should come down so that it's next to your temple. Okay, so the hand should be next to your temple. So ideally you'll have a weight in each hand. You can do this with a bar. Okay, so you can hold a bar in your hands and do the weight with the bar. The bar will come down at a about forehead height, hence the skull crusher name, right? A um, wee bit harder to do with anything other than dumbbell or a uh, barbell, but I think these are all okay for that. You can do them like this with a dumbbell as well, but again, just watch, watch, <laughs> watch your head. They actually work quite well like this. So it is going to be a minute of skull crushers, and then it's going to be a minute of leg leftovers. What's the other one? So you're going to set two weights, it can be dumbbells or kettlebells, in front of you. You're going to start with your feet between them. You can put your fingertips lightly on the ground. You're going to lift your legs up and to the outside. Now, the more upright you sit, the more difficult this is. So if you need to lean back a little bit more and put your hands more on the ground, that's going to make it more doable. You can lean right back, makes it more doable. Sit up more. <laughs> the Lord knows. <laughs> it makes it much more difficult. So two objects, it could be wine bottles if you want. <laughs> um, kettlebells, dumbbells, anything that's got a bit of height to force you to lift your legs up and over. Skull crushers and leg leftovers. For the Friday one, 